Welcome back to another installment of Julian's Random Projects. We are making progress on the, uh, I don't know, this thing needs kind of a name. I'm not really sure. The Blue Midget, the Electric Blue Midget, I don't know. Sit rep, <laughs> yanked out uh, the exhaust, uh, disconnected anything that went from the, the car itself to the engine, uh, things like uh, choke cables and throttle cables, hoses for the for the heater, radiator was removed. Uh, it was almost it was begging to come out. It was only being held in by zip ties and like one bolt. Uh, disconnected the uh, distributor connection to the to the coil here. What else? Uh, on the bottom side, uh, there's uh, grounds that go to the transmission, like electrical grounds. You had to remove those. Just you know, you just keep going around the engine, keep finding things. Uh, the the nice thing about doing an EV conversion is I don't have to be ginger with this stuff. I mean, I disconnected uh, these, but if they were going to give me a hassle, I'd have just cut them off or hit them with a, a you know a utility knife or something. I don't I don't need to salvage any of this thing. I'm not I'm not taking it out to put yet another uh, internal combustion engine back in. So uh, if if there's something in here and it doesn't help this car move forward under electric power, it, it's coming out. It's uh, I mean, like, his air pumps and things like that. But I'm, I'm hoping to take this all out as one uh, unit, in, including the transmission. So it's going to have to come up and out like this, like a, you know, big game fish, you know, something you caught. Um, I don't know that I found all the bolts. There's still, I think, a couple more that come in from the side here uh, on either side uh, that wedge that in. I am highly confident this is going to have to come out, but I'm going to give it a go. I, I saw someone else's YouTube video where they were yanking this uh, transmission out and they uh, they didn't show it, but they, one of the guys in the video asked if, if they needed to, they're asking his buddy, oh, do we need to take out the, the stick shift? And he said, no, we just get the right angle. Uh, but I'm looking down in here and I don't think that's quite right. So I'm gonna probably um, yank that out. As you can see, the interior is kind of tattered and worn out and all this stuff is like trying to return to earth, you know? And um, once we get the drivetrain in here and it's actually moving on its own power, then uh, I'll be able to get it around, drive it out the uh, the driveway here, and actually um, hose it off and clean it. I'm not doing that now because I'll be getting water all over my driveway and I, you know in the garage here, and I don't feel like doing that. I like out there where it kind of slopes off. Uh, but a car that has no motor, <laughs> if I if I go out on this incline, I've got to push it up the incline, and that's a big pain in the dick. So I'm not doing that. Before it gets a bath, it's gonna get. It's going to be moving under its own power, which will be kind of fun. Uh, and then once it does, all this is coming out. Seats, I'm not going to try and um, repair those, I don't think, unless I get underneath there and the leather's like amazing. And these are on here to protect, not on here to cover up. So my, what, right now my motivation for getting this thing yanked out of here is because on Tuesday, my uh, electric motor, motor controller, and, and, and the rest of it all show up. And... Uh, and I'd like, I'd like to have the ability to get started on it instead of just having the motor sit here for a while. Um, I've, I've got to make the adapter plate and the uh, coupler between the electric motor and the transmission. A lot of things to do. All right, so I'd to bring you along for this uh, quick installment and keep you all updated on where we are with the electric midget. I'm hanging in, there ain't no doubt, and I'm hanging tough. Over and out, over and out, over and out. 